I'm out at the shop in Elizabeth City on a sunny, yet curiously noisy day, and we're gonna be installing that. My new knob site, rooftop tent. So real quick, the measurements on the tent. It's 89 inches long by 60 inches wide and approximately seven inches tall when closed. And it weighs about 149 pounds. Well, we've got some more stuff to go over, but let's pop it open and we'll talk about the rest of it inside. Real quick, the hydraulic rods, although they are made of iron, they're zinc nickel plated to protect it from the elements and they have undergone and are rated to a 96 hour salt water testing. They do have them inside so that when you compress and close the tent, the rods are not outside being exposed to the elements constantly. Now with the tent open, you can see it has three windows. We're not fully set up yet. So if you're camping someplace where it's warm, you do have the ability to get good airflow going through the tent. I definitely view that as being a plus. I'm kind of a nitpicker when it comes to small details, so let's do some nitpicking. Let's see, zippers actually look pretty nice. Let's take a look at the stitching on the, around the zippers. The material looks pretty good. Obviously, it's waterproof. And I gotta finish opening this thing up, but I'm getting really impatient, so. Let's go ahead and hop in this thing and see how comfortable it is. I'm not a small guy. I stand somewhere between six foot two and six foot three. I'm not gonna stand up in here. But sitting up, I do have plenty of room. And more importantly, laying down, I have plenty of room. I don't see light showing through the fabric anywhere, so everything is stitched together properly. In addition to your three main windows, you do have two smaller ventilation windows here. Also good for taking a peek if you hear something go bump in the middle of the night. Oh my god, it's a bear. Again, the zippers look pretty good. So what I'm looking for right now is light showing through the fabric. Anything showing that the stitching is not properly done. Yeah, a little window here. I dig it. Looks like a pretty good job of Velcroing. But again, the main thing I'm looking for right now is sunlight coming through. Anything indicating that the fabric is ripped or the stitching isn't done properly, and I'm not seeing anything. You do have thermal fabric here to help keep the heat in. The bar locks the roof in place. You get your shoe bag here, which according to the literature knob site uh, provided me with, uh, is extra large so that it can accommodate boots, not just shoes. You have two of them. You do have a little storage bag inside for your gadgets to put your cell phone in, your wallet, whatever, while you're sleeping. You have one on each side in case you have somebody sharing the tent with you. A couple of other little things. It does have more storage here. So there is ample storage in the tent. So what is so special about this tent? Well, it would definitely be bang for the buck. Uh, the quality of their product has been stellar. And this tent appears to be no exception to that. But I'm going to stop sitting in it and pretending it's my fort and finish putting it together. With the tent fully popped up 
it is pretty spacious. I can actually get up on my knees in here. And again, like I said earlier, I'm somewhere around six feet two inches tall. And just being able to get up on my knees in here is pretty impressive. I will tell you this, it does collect heat right up here. You can definitely feel how warm it is up there, but it's not bad in here. It is surprisingly spacious. And if you want to hang lights, you do have hooks in the tent. So you do have that option. There are several of them. When talking with Novsite about this tent, one of the things that they are particularly proud of and that they wanted me to convey is that the tent is built, uh, it's, it's very sturdy. They, they intended for it to be able to withstand higher winds and more severe weather conditions than most rooftop tents. But the tent does feel very sturdy. I have very little doubt that it can stand up to some pretty good weather. And I have gone through this thing with a fine tooth comb trying to find some sort of weakness in the stitching trying to find a place where sunlight's coming through or some place where rain is going to be able to come into the tent and i i haven't been able to find anything uh the, the uh the thing is just very well put together all right we have the tent on the defiant let's talk about how it is mounted on the vehicle and let's crawl up in it and take a look at it first and foremost this is probably the longest uh, equipment review video I've ever done in terms of length of period of once I started it and when I finished it. The portion you just watched was filmed in the summer, late summer in September. It is now November. It's now in a completely different season. I've had the tent mounted on the Jeep for almost two months now. And it's made the 5,000 plus mile round trip to Las Vegas and back to Virginia. So not only has it been on there two months, it's also got thousands and thousands of miles of road time on it so we can also in addition to taking a look at it with it popped open kind of go into what it's like having it on there so let's take a look at it i'm not going to get too in-depth into the install process or mounting it to the roof rack but it does have four mounting points which are these brackets there and there same places on the other side of the vehicle i don't need to show them to you it's a very robust mounting system. It did hold it securely all the way from Virginia to Nevada and back, including trips to the Alpine Loop and to Moab. So it's a very secure mounting system. Uh, the rack is Novsite's prototype rack for the JK. I don't know when they plan to put it in production, but I've been using it for several months and it gets my thumb of approval. So anytime they want to put it in a production, it's solid. One of the features of it I really like is the rail system. So anything that'll fit into this rail system, uh, it's, it's very modular. So it does come with mounting points for the ladder. They're on the back. So obviously having a Jeep, a certain something prevents me from mounting the ladder on the back. So I am going to relocate those over here. It's just not high on my list of priorities. But when I relocate them there, then I'll have the option to do driver's side or passenger side. Uh, these are brackets for mounting the uh, cargo racks, like if you want to put luggage or a kayak on top. I'm not using them. I don't plan to put anything up there. And those are probably going to come off. And I do probably intend to eventually replace the factory mounting brackets with a quick release system so that I can take the tent off when I don't anticipate using it for a while because while it is very securely mounted, it did cost me about two miles per gallon in fuel economy. But anyway, let's pop it open and take a look at it. The strut system that it includes makes it super easy to pop it open. It's very little resistance. So it's not gonna take you long to get this tent set up. One of the things I touched on when I first set the tent up on the ground is the struts. They're gas struts, they're very, very sturdy. And they enclose them inside the tent to protect them from the elements so that they don't corrode. You can see, as I mentioned before, it's been on here for about two months now. That's countless 
rainstorms plus the trip to and from Nevada and back and there's there's not a touch of corrosion on them they do come with these brakes to put on them lock them in place you probably won't need them because they are very sturdy but if you're camping in the wind on a windy day probably not a bad idea but I reiterate this is an extremely sturdy tent one thing that I'm not is an expert on rooftop tents. This is the only rooftop tent that I have first-hand experience with. And I can tell you that my first-hand experience with it has been overwhelmingly positive. The thing that impresses me the most about it is that it is sturdy. And when I say it's sturdy, I mean it's extremely sturdy. I'm not a small guy. I'm almost six foot three. Uh, I probably weigh about 265 pounds. I have been in and out of this thing. And more importantly, when it was at SEMA, it had dozens of people go up and down the ladder, go inside it, some small, some not so small, a few that were bigger than I was comfortable with them being. Some people got up in it and felt the need to bounce around in it. It took everything that was dealt out, including the roof rack. Uh, there's been no damage to the tent, no change in its stability, and most importantly, no damage to the Defiant. That's number one. Holiday Inn is going to hate me. Well, they're going to hate Novsite. Because with views like this, I don't foresee me staying in Holiday Inn very often anymore. Let's get down to brass tacks here. The question is, is the tent any good? The answer to that question is, no, it's not. It's not good. It's great. It's an outstanding product. And I have no problem recommending it to you. It's a great tent. A friend of mine recently teased me a little bit and told me that I should just get the Novsite logo tattooed on me because I work with them so much. And it brings me to the reason why. Why do I work with Novsite so much? The answer is easy, because they are super cool people. Everyone from the CEO, Alex, to Ivy and their sales department, uh, Jinman, who is my contact, who I deal with usually on social media, they're all super great people. They're respectful. They treat their social media people, whether it be on YouTube or Instagram, with respect. They ask me questions about the product. They, they value my feedback. And if you ask any of the other influencers that work with Novsite, I'm sure that they will say the same thing, that they are great to deal with. And that's why. I work with other companies. I have other companies I don't work with anymore. Some of them are great. Some of them were not so great, which is why I don't work with them anymore. That is the direct answer on why I deal with Novsite so much and will continue to deal with them in the future. They care about their product. They care about their people and they are super awesome people. Okay, blah, 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 stitching, blah, 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 sturdy, blah, 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 fabric. Bottom line. Is it a good product? Yes. Should you buy it and put it on your vehicle and sleep in it? I don't know. That's up to you. But I feel that if you do go out and purchase the pretends and put it on your vehicle, that you'll be more than happy with it. If you do, let me know. If you do and you don't like it, let me know. Either way, if you go out and buy that tent and put it on your vehicle, I would like to hear about it. So leave a comment. If you found the review helpful, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel because that is the best thing you can do to help me. One last thing I'll say about this tent, since I got it, I have had other companies, and by other companies, I mean more than one, contact me and offer me their rooftop tent for free to put on the Defiant and a review. And I've told them, thank you for reaching out, but no thank you. I have a tent that I'm happy with. Hopefully, 
that tells you something because I've been offered other ones for free and I've turned them down. Until next time, this has been Defiant Off-Road.